Welcome dear students, uh, we are going to discuss one more question which came in the AIMS exam dermatology this time. I gather that this time dengue has been a hot topic and it's got a lot of questions. It's got a dermatology question also which came, it, it came in, in medicine topic as well. Uh, I'll discuss, I expect this dengue to be important even for the NEET exam, so I want to discuss this properly now. Infections presenting with papillomacules macules are all except dengue early phase, rubella, shingles and measles. Now the dengue rash, dengue is a, obviously a febrile illness, now it's very prominently going to have a rash. The rash of dengue is very classically what we call as a biphasic rash. Biphasic means it's got two phases, it's got an early phase and a late phase of the rash. So the early phase comes at about one to two days of the onset of the uh, fever and it is a very transient flushing kind of a rash. That's because of capillary dilatation. That's the first rash and this, this rash some, somehow then tends to subside. They get a second rash which is the second phase of that biphasic rash which comes at three to six days basically after the onset of the symptoms. And this rash is the classical dengue rash which would get the second rash, okay. And this is very typically asymptomatic. Usually uh, viral rashes and drug rashes tend to have a lot of itching and pruritus. This doesn't seem to have that much symptoms. So it's more of an asymptomatic rash and it's a blanchable rash also actually. Very typically the rash has been described and that's I believe to be an important MCQ this time. What we call this rash as white islands in a sea of red. I'll show you what that means. This is what we mean by a white islands in a sea of red. If you see this white spots in between and a background of erythema that you can notice on this and this is called white islands on a sea of red which is a typical dengue rash, the second phase of the rash which will come like this and this will then subside on its own and that's how the rash comes. Now some people of dengue develop a dengue hemorrhagic fever kind of a, a issue which is a complication with a lot of hemorrhagic lesions and this will then be a petechial rash. Okay, If it's dengue hemorrhagic fever it's going to be a petechial rash which is going to be a blood point, small small blood point. This is a petechial rash, this is non-blanchable mind you this. Okay, So if you press this, this is not going to go away. The classical dengue rash is blanchable. It goes away when you press it with your fingers or only to come back when you lift up the finger. That's the typical dengue rash. So two rashes, the classical dengue is biphasic. Okay. And in the second phase of that biphasic rash, you have that white islands in a sea of red. And if it's a petechial rash, it will be something like this that I would want you to know. Okay. Rubella is also a similarly a, a, a flat rash, a maculopapular rash that we get. Typically a rubella rash comes very fast and goes away also very fast. So in 2-3 days the entire rash is gone. Usually it's a cephalocortal kind of a rash in rubella with fever. Measles is also similar like rubella with a prodrome which comes in and all of you know about coplic spots which come in during the prodromal phase and then the rash comes. The rash is usually slower to come as compared to rubella. So again cephalocortal but it's usually going to be more faster, sorry it's more slower. So in about 5 to 6 days we expect the measles rash to go whereas 2 to 3 days for a rubella rash basically to go. So all these 3 rashes are papules and macules also called as papillomacular or maculopapular either ways you can mention that. Shingles is the other name for herpes zoster. Shingles typically is a vesicular rash. Now this is what a vesicular rash would be. It's a bullous and a vesicular blistering rash in a dermatomal fashion. So it's a very typical thing that comes in old people after 60 years of age or it can come in people who have or immunosuppressive drugs and that's a vesicular bullous rash of shingles. One rash which is also similar to dengue rash uh, which is chikungunya rash. Chikungunya is also similar to dengue, both are febrile illnesses, both have rashes. The difference between chikungunya rash and dengue rash is Chikungunya is less bleeding, okay. The petechial component of chikungunya is not as much and almost all your questions which mention a severe disabling joint pain. That is what you need to pick up in MCQs as well and dengue rash as I said is more petechial, chikungunya is less petechial, chikungunya has more joint pains, dengue has less joint pains. And that's usually how we differentiate between these rashes. Also chikungunya can sometimes as we discussed in the class as well can create a bit of nasal pigmentation, a bit of brown pigmentation which is not going to be seen in dengue. So that's how usually how you discuss these dengue and all these other febrile illness rash. Alright. Okay. Fine. Thank you.